Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how I made this small jewelry box. This may seem like a really tiny project, but there are a lot of tool paths that went in to make this look the way that it does, and everything fits absolutely perfectly. We do have plans available for this on our website, but without further ado, let me show you how I made it. Starting on a new project to make a small jewelry box on the Stepcraft M1000 CNC. We do have plans available for this on our website, so definitely check that out there. There's a lot of tool paths that go into making this jewelry box. Using the 46202-K quarter inch down cut bit to go through here and pocket out the jewelry box, add a lip, and then also add a handhold. I'm going through here on a small step over so that there is no sanding needed on this jewelry box. It leaves a really nice finish. All of the plans go over all of this in detail. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified on all of the new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Tools Today. Using the auto tool changer to pick up the 45771-K 30 degree engraving bit to go through here and engrave some text and the infinity symbol into it. Because of the small curve of the bit, I just use a toothbrush to clean out the rest of the little fuzzies that are left in an air compressor and we have a perfectly clean carve. So now we're going to go back to the other bit. We could have certainly done this prior to, but I always like on solid wood pieces to cut the profile after all of the engraving and everything's done. We'll get that pulled off the CNC, use the fine multi-master to trim those tabs, and right off of there we have a perfect fit and everything snaps together. I'll just do a little bit of sanding along the outside with some 220 grit sandpaper and this is looking really nice. I do want to round over those edges just a little bit, being careful not to touch the mating surfaces so that way we have a perfect alignment and you can hardly even see the gap. With that done, we're going to finish this off using some walrus oil cutting board oil and this does a nice job giving a nice protective finish. With that carving in there, we want to blow out all of that finish that's left in there. We don't want to let it cure there as it will fill the entire gap. So that worked out perfectly. We now have the piece ready to go after letting that sit for about 24 hours and we have that nice snap fit. I really like how this project turned out, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe right over here. And for more great videos, click right over here.